Um, in order also to develop a series of joint locks and techniques, we have a school handshake called the 18 seizing hands. Okay, I'll start the series. Okay, his hands up. Okay, first of all, 10,000 pound thumb. I try to lock the thumb. Okay, now, what I'm trying to do is the opposite of this thumb, and if you put pressure on it, I counter it by locking the finger back. Okay, and I press it in slightly. Now from here, I hold two fingers back. First I just did one finger, but because I might have broke it, it wouldn't work anymore. So now I've got to grab two fingers. This is very, very uncomfortable for him. So he tries to pull his hand forward. If he's stronger than me, I go with his strength, and now I'm twisting his hand in a different method, pushing his hand in. This is very uncomfortable. Or if he's stronger than me, I go with his strength and carry the basket. All right? Now from here, again, this is again uncomfortable with it. I go with his strength and hold hand carries a fish. Then I step back, teetering a log on a rock. I put my thumb, like feeling his pulse, even though that's not really how you feel pulses nowadays. I throw my elbow up and lean back. I can fall all the way down to the ground. He hits the ground. Now I take this turn, I turn this to the back, and twisting hand. Okay, then I grab his fingers, I break his fingers, fall up over the top, that's another one, and then fall. And then rising sun, hold the moon. Step back, long chops a log. Snake, lion, unicorn. Step back, falcon, phoenix. Oh, oops, 18. Okay, let's try it. Uh, let's try it again at this side, facing this direction. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Let's, let's do this for a falcon. Okay? Now there's actually a hundred names, but eighteen is an excellent uh, uh, vocabulary or library of techniques. After you learn this, now you learn a game of chin off sparring, which is strike lock pressure point. So for instance, say he grabs me and lock and lock big lock. Okay, twist lock. So first of all, I'm going to strike him, stun him, pop, put him in a lock, and add a pressure point. Now he strikes me, puts me in a lock, and adds a pressure point. Good. I strike him, put him in a lock, and add a pressure point. He strikes, puts in a lock, and adds a pressure point. Good. Strike. Lock and pressure point. Oh, sorry, sorry. You can take it down. Okay, and pressure point. Um, bulk and death grip type thing. Okay, strike, lock, and pressure point. Oh, wow, that one again. How can you get hit me the hard way? Okay, strike. See how that feels? <laughs> lock and pressure point. Okay, then you strike, lock, pressure point. Okay, I strike, lock, and pressure point. Okay, then he strikes. Then locks and pressure point by putting pressure between the knuckles. He's got me in actually an elbow lock, a wrist lock, and double pressure point or anything. So from here, strike, lock, pressure point. And then he strikes, locks, ooh, pressure point. And he's using an eagle claw technique behind the elbow, which is uh, tugging the little nerves. And it hurts really, really bad if my hands falling asleep, so we'll go ahead and end here. <laughs> All right, the first basic self-defense